guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm back with another makeup haul. It's been a little while since I've done a makeup haul now. This is a higher end makeup haul so I was really excited to get my hands on these products. These are some of the products I've been wanting for a little while now so I was finally able to get them so I thought I would share with you guys what products I got. There's a range of different brands here from Too Faced, Kylie Cosmetics, Dose of Colours, quite a few different brands so I think we might just jump straight into it. I've got quite a few things to get through so if you'd like to see all these products in this high-end makeup haul then please keep watching. Okay let's start with first of all from Too Faced I picked up a couple of their new products that launched not too long ago. The first one is this one here it's the Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. I absolutely love the Too Faced Hangover Primer. It's one of my all-time favorite primers. It's really moisturizing and hydrating for my skin, so I was really looking forward to trying out this one, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Hopefully it works really well for me. And also from Too Faced, I picked up the new Born This Way. This is the Ethereal Setting Powder. I've been on a setting powder kick recently, not sure why, I've just been wanting to try out a few different ones. I've got the Kat Von D Cover FX Becca one, so I just thought why not try this one. I really love the Born This Way range from Too Faced. I love the foundation, the concealer, so I thought hopefully the powder is going to be really good as well. So I'm excited to try this one out. I will be trying all these products in a video, so let me know what you guys would like to see. If you'd like to see a first impressions or a get ready with me trying out some of these products, I'd really love to do that for you guys. Next up is a couple of products from Elsie. They're not a large company, but they do have a few new products that were released. I've really liked the ones that I've purchased from them before. So I picked up this one here. This is the Elsie the Hydra Enhancer. It's an alkaline facial mist infused with jasmine. So this just looked really beautiful. I saw some really good reviews on it. I just thought it would be really nice for a facial mist. I love facial mists. They just make your skin feel amazing. They help your makeup stay on really well. So I wanted to try this one out. And from Elsie, I also wanted to try out one of their new bronzers which is this one here. The packaging is so sleek and beautiful and I got mine in the colour medium. So this is the colour here and it's more of a warmer tone bronzer which I really like so I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I've been on a bit of a bronzer kick as well just looking for new bronzers because I always resort back to my favourite MAC Give Me Sun so this one is a really similar colour so I'm hoping I'm going to like this one. And next up I bought something from Tarte. I've been wanting to try this out for a really long time so I finally got my hands on it and it's the new Amazonian Clay Foundation Stick. And I picked mine up in the shade Medium Sand and I really love the packaging. It's got this Amazonian different coloured look on the top here. It's just really pretty and the packaging is really sleek. And so this is what it looks like. It just winds up there. I'm hoping this colour is going to match me. It looks a little bit light in the tube but hopefully when I put it on the skin and blend it out it's going to work for me but I'll definitely have to try this one out in a video. Next up is a product from Benefit. I've been wanting to try this one out for a little while now. I've seen Desi Perkins use it on YouTube and she really loves it so I thought I would give it a go. And is this one here. This is the Benefit Air Patrol. This is a BB Cream Eyelid Primer. So this looks really interesting just because the colour almost resembles like a concealer and it's meant to be really lightweight. So it helps to conceal any redness on the lids or any discoloration but then it also acts as a really good primer base for eyeshadows. So I was just interested to try this one out. So I'm hoping I'm going to like it. The packaging is really cool. I like all benefit packaging. It's really different and unique. So let's see if this one's going to work for me in a video. Next I had to pick up another one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadows. I'm obsessed with these and this was the one colour I didn't have. It's the silver one. This one's called Diamond Dust and it's just so beautiful. I can see multicolored glitters through it as well but it's predominantly silver. It just looks so beautiful. These are just my favourite eyeshadow products at the moment. I just love them as a glitter. It's so easy to apply all over the eye. So I've done a couple of looks using a few different colours of these, but I think I'm going to have to use this one in a tutorial as well because I just love this colour. It's really, really pretty. And there is a swatch of that silver colour. It's so incredibly beautiful. So it's going to look amazing on the eyes for that icy cool silver look. I'm really, really excited to try this one out. I've been looking for a really good black eyeliner lately to sit in the waterline. I usually have trouble with that because my eyes tend to water. I do wear contact lenses so I need to have a really good strong black eyeliner that's going to last in the waterline. So I thought I would try out the one by NARS. This is meant to be really good. This is the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in the colour Via Veneto which is just a black shade. So 
Hoping this one's going to work for me and it's going to be my new favourite black eyeliner to use in the waterline. Next is some products I got from the Kali Cosmetics launch that was a little while ago but I thought I would just mention them in this video. The packaging of these is absolutely beautiful so hats off to Kali for that. So first of all we have this one here. This is the Kali Jenner Pressed Powder Palette and the packaging is so pretty. The light pink with all the stars on it. I just think it looks really, really pretty. And so this is what it looks like. That is so glittery and beautiful. It says I want it all on the front. So, so pretty with this bright pink. And this is the inside of the palette here. So it's got this really nice love heart shaped mirror. And then these are the shades. I wanted to get this palette because I don't usually use a lot of pink and cool tone colours. So I thought this would kind of help me step out of my comfort zone. And just the colours just look so beautiful. And then you also get a highlight and a blush as well. So it was quite a good value. And I did actually pick this collection up when Kylie had a sale on her website. So I believe it was about... 15 or 20 percent off so I thought why not I thought I would try out this palette it looks really really beautiful and hopefully I really like the colors I might have to use this in a makeup tutorial really soon as well and here are some swatches from that eyeshadow palette the colors are beautifully pigmented the powder eyeshadows did feel a little bit chalky and there was a bit of fallout when I swatched it but hopefully that's not going to be too bad on the eyes but Really impressed with the pigment and the formula of these colours, so I'm excited to try these out. And next up, we have one of the liquid lipsticks. This is a lipstick and lip liner set, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this is the birthday collection. I'm pretty sure... I think I forgot to say that before, but this is the birthday collection with the beautiful pink packaging. And look at the pretty lip design on this. It's got the glitter on it as well. It just looks really, really beautiful. So in this lip kit, you get the lip liner and a liquid lipstick as well. And this one is in the shade 20. And this just looks like a really beautiful dusty mauve tone color. And the packaging, of course, baby pink. So, so pretty. I really liked the look of this color. I saw quite a few people review this collection and this colour in particular just looked really, really nice. And I didn't think I had anything too similar to it, so I thought I would try this one out. And there's a swatch up the top of the liquid lipstick and lip liner in the shade 20. It's a really rich, deep, mauve tone colour. I don't think I've got anything similar to this, so it just looks really, really nice. Perfect for autumn time. Unfortunately, in Australia, it's coming into summer, but I still wear these colours all year round, so really excited to try out this one. And lastly from the collection, I got the little Velvet Liquid Lipstick Set. I haven't tried any of the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks by Kylie Cosmetics. I've tried the regular matte ones and they're actually quite nice. So I wanted to try the Velvet formula. So I thought, what better way than to try a few out in this little mini liquid lipstick set. So the set comes with six little mini shades, which is a really good idea because it does take quite a while to get through a full tube of liquid lipstick. So little mini ones like this are perfect to take with you in your handbag and traveling as well. So I thought this little set looked really cute and the colors look really pretty as well. And there are the swatches of the Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. These colors look really beautiful. I really like the formula. It feels really nice and creamy. And there's some really nice bright colors in there for summer coming to Australia. So I'm really excited about these. And next I picked up some of the new products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I picked up the new Liquid Glow Face Highlighters. I got them in every colour just because they looked so amazing. I saw swatches of these, reviews on these, and they just looked incredible. So I had to pick up all the shades in these highlighters. So first up we have the colour Perla, which is a beautiful, soft, light gold champagne colour. Next we have the shade Peach Fizz, which is a little bit more of that peachy, slightly rose gold tone colour. This one looks really, really beautiful. We have the colour Oyster, which is a little bit more of a pinkier champagne tone. This one looks really, really nice for more fair skin. And lastly, we have the shade Bronze. So this is just the most beautiful bronze gold. This is going to look amazing in summer with a tan. I'm really excited to try these. And so there are swatches of all those four colours. How amazing and pigmented are these? They're so pretty. From the bottom, we have Perla, Peach Fizz, Oyster, and then Bronzed. Oh my goodness. I literally can't pick a favourite because I love them all. I think they're just going to look amazing on the skin in summer, just for that beautiful, glowing, highlighted look. So I'm very, very excited about these. Next up, I picked up some of the new lipsticks from Dose of Colours. 
And I also got this really pretty makeup bag. How beautiful is this? It's such a shiny rose gold and it's quite a large size and there's quite a lot of room in here for makeup. So I thought this would make a perfect makeup bag for traveling and just to keep your essentials in. So I thought I would pick this one up as well. And then I picked up three of the new lipsticks. These just looked so, so beautiful that I had to pick up a few different colors. And these are the Lip It Up lipsticks. I believe these are more of a satin cream finish. And first of all, this packaging is just amazing. I love the rose gold. I think it looks really, really beautiful. So the cap just comes off and then there is the lipstick. It has a really unique shape to it on top, which I think is gonna be really easy to apply to the lips. So this first shade here I have is called Brulee, which is a bit more of a warm pink tone color. This one looks really, really beautiful for an everyday shade. I picked up the color Toast, which I'm really excited about. This is more of a warm peachy brown shade. And the third shade I picked up is called Butterscotch, and this is more of the nude light brownie peach color, which is very, very beautiful. This is gonna be really nice on its own or in the center of the lips for more of an ombre look. So I really, really like the look of this color. Those are the shades there. We have Butterscotch, Toast and brulee, so really beautiful. I know they're nudes, I have a lot of nude shades, but I've always loved trying them out in different formulas and by different brands. And the pigment on these looks really amazing. It was quite a creamy, almost quite thick texture, so I think these are gonna last on the lips really, really well, although they are a satin cream finish. I still think they're gonna look really beautiful and last quite a while on the lips. And the last brand I picked up some products from is Melt Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. I think they are some of the best quality eyeshadows. They are really, really amazing. The pigment is incredible. The finish, the formula, everything about them I really like. So I picked up a few more eyeshadows and also some of their new highlighters that they brought out. This is the Rust Stack and I was really excited to try this one out. I love warm, neutral colors on the eyes. It's just what I like to do and they came out with this eyeshadow stack a little while ago now and I've been wanting to pick it up for a while and they did have a 20% off discount on the website so I thought I would take advantage and pick up this set. So these sets are really cool, they are magnetic so they all stick together. So on top is a little mirror which is really handy to have. And then the first shade here is a really soft, almost like a pale yellowy tone. This one here is called Classic. Then we have this more soft peachy orange shade called Antique. This color I'm obsessed with, that mustard tone brown, this one is called Rubbish. A beautiful warm red tone brown, this one here is called Rust. And the last color here is a rich deep chocolate brown, this one here is called Rot. So I'm gonna get so much use out of these eyeshadows, I'm really, really excited. Here are the swatches from the Rust Stack. The pigment on these is incredible. I'm obsessed with that mustard brown shade. Oh my God, I'm gonna get so much use out of these colors. These are just stock standard, everyday, neutral brown shades. So I'm really, really happy I got this stack. Also picked up another stack. This one here is the Radioactive Stack. This is such a bright neon pigmented eyeshadow stack. I just thought I would pick this up because I don't have a lot of bright neon colors for more fun festival makeup looks, even Halloween makeup looks. I thought this would be a really fun eyeshadow stack to pick up. So once again, you get the little mirror on top. First up, we have this bright neon orangey red color. This one is called Radon. Then we have this amazing bright yellow. This one's called Neon. Then we have this beautiful lime green called Xenon. And lastly, this bright fuchsia pink called Radioactive. So I do have all the eyeshadow stacks except for the Lovesick stack, just because in that stack I thought I had a few of those colors already, except for the purple shade. So I thought I would pick that up in an individual one because you now can buy the eyeshadows in the stacks individually. So I picked up the purple shade. So this one here is called Promiscuous. And so this is what it looks like here, beautiful, deep violet purple with hints of blue through it. It's more of a shimmer tone. This one looked really, really pretty. And because it's magnetic, I can just add it on to one of the other stacks. So that's pretty easy to do. So I thought this would be a really, really nice color to have. And these are the swatches from the radioactive stack here. And I also did a swatch of the purple shade Promiscuous. These are just so intense and neon, it's crazy. These are gonna look amazing for some fun, vibrant eyeshadow looks. And the last two products I got are the two new highlighters from Melt Cosmetics. I believe there's a few more shades. I picked up the color Stargazer and Gold Ore. These just looked incredible on the website when I was on there. I was like, oh my God, these look amazing. So first of all, this is the color Stargazer. If you can see that 
pattern that's inscribed in it, the highlighter. It has Melt Cosmetics written in there. It looks really, really pretty. It's one of those highlighters that you don't really want to touch or ruin because it looks so beautiful inside. But of course, I've got to see what the color looks like. But this one just looks really, really pretty. And these do come with the individual mirrors, which are really nice. And then this one here is the color Gold Ore, which is a bit more of a golden tone. Stargazer was a little bit more of a champagne pink tone. So this one's going to look really nice when I have a tan. Now those are the swatches there. The top one is Stargazer, the lighter shade, and the bottom one is Gold Ore. These look really beautiful. They're probably not as full on pigmented as I thought. So they could be used more naturally or you could just build up the highlighter to make it a little bit more foiled and intense. But these are really, really nice. They feel really creamy to blend on the skin so hopefully they're going to sit really nice on my skin as well so I'm excited to try these out. Okay so those are all of the products I picked up in this high-end makeup haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave any suggestions in the comments down below what products you would like me to review or do a makeup tutorial with. I'm always happy to do that for you guys and if you would also like a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing today it's quite easy to achieve with the eyes and this really nice bold vampy lip colour which I've been really loving lately. So just let me know in the comments down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I have some more videos coming very soon. Now that I'm finished uni, I can definitely film a lot more and get a lot more videos up for you guys a lot sooner. So look out for those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.